Why won't this thing just work? Cute movie reference. Today, there's a car in space. We're making the Big Bang. Computers fit in your pocket and whole diseases have been eradicated. And yet... I feel constipated. One quarter of all calls to IT support are for printers. What the hell is going on? So let's have a look at all this hate. Here's the totally scientific autocomplete test to show what you're thinking. So why are printers cheap, bad, and unreliable? Well, they're cheap because of razors. Well, not razors, razor blades. Yep. It's an economic principle where one part of a product is super cheap, so money's made from the other part, which you need to keep replacing. Printers are cheap, and this is fun, the ink they need is one of the most expensive liquids in the world, and more expensive than human blood. They're thought of as bad because all that ink and tech represents a design principle known as planned obsolescence, designing a product with an expiration date. Some see it as wasteful. We throw printers and cartridges away, about 11 cartridges each second. Others see it as necessary. Design has to evolve to improve. They're unreliable because they're mechanical. And they're amazing. A printer has thousands of working parts. And those mechanical parts have to work together physically again and again without breaking. 25,000 things have to happen for each page to be printed. Imagine how many places things can go wrong. Smooth your hair, Tam. <laughs> like being patterned like a spaniel. The real question is why does this drive us so apoplectic with rage? The, the theory is called computers as social actors theory. We treat machines like people. When things go wrong, people feel anger at machines just the way they would be at a person who's disappointed them greatly. But they're not pure social actors, they're lower status. So we might feel more comfortable venting anger at something like a printer than we would feel about venting at someone who handed us papers. Something that people do if they've disappointed you is that they apologize. A machine just lets you know that it's out of toner, you know, <laughs> it makes it seem like it doesn't care. So next time somebody designs a printer, if they could do it with a sorry I ate the paper function, that'd be better. <laughs> I would feel better. And we do expect a lot from printers. Printers are the thing we all use to turn abstract digital things into real physical objects. So printers are actual magic. So let's cut them some slack. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos from NBC Left Field, then subscribe. And if you'd like to see another mixed reality one, then check out the piece we made about living in cities.